today we're at Church Creek and uh, we're electroshocking some fish and we're looking for cutthroat specific species and uh, what we've done previous here is we've collected water quality measurements for the past 60 days and uh, with those measurements and these fish today we'll be measuring um, emergent contaminant load and looking at genetic responses for um, in the fish tissue that we've collected. We'll combine the water quality that we have, that we've collected, and look at the fish tissue chemistry, and together we can kind of get a little synopsis of what's going on in the, in the creek. So we're looking to see what kind of effect the contaminants could have on these fish. And so maybe pharmaceuticals, or birth control, or um, anything you flush down the toilet can be affecting the fish. We're using cutthroat because the Chinook are endangered and we want to stay as far away from them as we can, although we want to use a salmonid species so that we can kind of uh, attribute what we're finding in the cutthroat to other species of salmonids, which would be our Chinook or coho or chum. So this is, we're taking the blood and we'll centrifuge it and um, pipette off the plasma on the top and send it in for the telogenin. A lot of things that we're sort of concerned about now being in the environment, specifically the stuff that's in birth control pills, um, will cause males to produce the telogenin when normally they shouldn't. And so it's a great marker for exposure to endocrine disrupting compounds in the wild. With the water quality that we have and the fish tissue, we can combine and kind of see maybe what kind of chemicals we've, we've noted in the water and then are those fish exhibiting those same chemicals. And with that we could maybe say, you know, there's sex reversal could happen. I think it'd be great to find nothing because then we could say our creeks are really clean. 